What's up guys? It's your boy Rorschach here. And today we're gonna be watching a game and I'm just gonna be talking to you guys and kind of giving you a brief going on of what's been happening here lately. Uh, before we do anything, of course, uh, the game against uh, our two players today here uh, is Xbox Live, also known as Monkey D. Lucy. He has about 20 ults, so uh, you know, you'll see him around here and there. And it looks like he's against uh, Catch Trophy, which I believe is uh, another alt. Uh, I don't know who's. If you do, I'm too old for this shit, okay, guys? But it looks like he's playing some weird SL FS deck. But uh, Xbox is playing skis. So uh, we'll get into it. Before anything else, though, let's hold on. Let's let's raise the music just a wee bit. There we go. Get a little nice. I heard you guys in the comments, you know, you don't like Norwegian black metal or any of that jazz. So we'll keep it pretty tranquil. And... Tranquil? Tranquil. Tranquil. I said it again. Tranquil. We'll keep it tranquil and peaceful is what I meant to say. I was trying to combine words yet again. And it happens. Uh, but we'll see what we got for this game. I kind of wanted to make a video to uh, just touch up on what's going on, you know. Not an official pox cast, but just to see what's going on, you know, guys. Uh, what is this deck? What is going on here? I is this supposed to be like a? Yeah, it's a collective deck. Okay. He tries to hide it behind shrine. I don't know why you try to hide the collective because you see the stat anyways. It's just players thinking they're sneaky. Whatever. Looks like neither of them want to go top, so interesting. We'll see how that goes. Uh, if I was uh, Mr. Cats over here, I'd be running Drown because, you know, Drown drown wins games, <laughs> and it's always fun drowning a skis general. It's like the most feel-bad moment of anyone's day is like, I'm putting a skis general in a font. It's like, oh, I'm casting Drown. I wonder who won. But, uh, nah, yeah. Let me get a little sip of water. All right, so like I was saying, I just want to talk to you guys, catch up, check in on you, you know. We just rolled out uh, a new set of ability changes last night. Those uh, ability changes kind of affected some things. I can read some off while you guys are watching the game. It's in the Discord, but uh, the ability changes that were affected were... Uh, blast abilities, all the blasts, so like Psychic Blast, Magic Blast artillery blast uh they went down in some nora so they're pretty cheap now ballista attack mode which is only on one card the uh flame breath ballista and is went down in nora and also cd empowered offense and range went down escalation went down all the mutations on all the mutant mutant guys and all that stuff went to zero and most some some got reworked uh ruthless netmaster and it's a uh, limited edition rivi the ruthless got a rework and so did homicidal maniac so check that out uh journey to oblivion from oblivion oblivion from aspect of oblivion's uh unique ability it went down costing zero so he's now like low 80s magic eater and rock eater went down to seven nora so you know that's pretty cool what else? All the other EDR abilities went down to four, except for Fire and Ice. They stayed at seven. And then uh, Carouse, which is where you equip a, uh, a beer, went to CD3 from two and build them tough. The uh, Construct thing went to uh, CD3 from one. There's a bunch of other stuff. You can check it out on the patch notes section. I mean, the announcement section of the Discord. Or you can check it out on the forums. I'm not really going to take too much time on that. We're gonna look back, see what happened. I was not even looking at the game while I was reading that off. Oh wow, he's trying to kill Mr. Hydraxor. Let's see if he does it. Um, I mean, with the four, no, he couldn't get it. Unless he did his math right and he doesn't heal. Why would you, okay, he can attack twice.
interest is he gonna does he get the kill that's the biggest question does he get the kill oh he's one off oh look at that he had uh the spell he should have dispelled he didn't know you can't you can't blame a guy for not knowing and he has the mist wow he uh he did some uh he did some uh what we call tomfoolery on that turn boys and girls is he just going to pop off now and win the game? I was hoping this game would be a little bit... Yeah, he's going to pop off and win the game. I was hoping this game would be a little bit longer because I wanted to talk to you guys about all sorts of... Oh my god, he has cleave too, doesn't he? This is going to be a bloodbath. Well... This is embarrassing. Yeah. Well, game's over. Just remember, Monkey D. Lucy is Xbox Live, so... Roast them while you can. Uh, we're going to go back to the screen. Let's see if there's any other games going on. Uh, we'll see if another game pops up while we have our little chit-chat, okay? <clears throat> Sorry for clearing my throat. It's uh, The weather here is frightful and not snowy. It's frightful as in uh, where I live, it's like 75 one day, and then the next day it's like 38, and I have bad sinus allergies. But I digress, right? So... In March, we're going to do a balance patch. Most of you already know that. Some of you already might even know what's going on in it. Basically, what we're doing is a year in review of all the things we've changed. I have a video up about that where it tells you everything that has changed. But, uh, yeah, we're going to try to fix some things that didn't really work out. It's a pretty big set. But what I'm trying to talk about is that's just me kind of cleaning up some loose ends before I take over as the official uh, creative end for the balance changes and stuff. Which uh, my first official patch will be in June, if I've done my math right. And uh, I'm already kind of biting off a big load for uh, that end. Don't clip that. Don't clip what I just said. If someone clips it, I'm I'm quitting. But uh, I'm... In, in June, I've already scheduled that not all factions will be receiving uh, changes. That's something that's going to be new. In the past, everyone has at least received, you know, one or two changes. But for June, our primary focus is going to be uh, MOGA and the zombies. We're going to try to fix those two themes that have kind of been forgotten about. So, you know, stuff in FS might not get a change. Stuff in F. Not FW. FW is going to change. Stuff in like UD might not receive a change. Or KF. It might not get a change. They might just get one. I don't know yet. But the main focus are those two faction, Not factions, but themes in general. Is going to be, uh, yeah. Zombies and MOGA. We'll see if I can make it work. If not, then uh, you probably won't hear from me ever again. Because I'll probably quit and leave and retire. But I I'm pretty confident. I feel like I can. I already have a good base of what's going on. What I want to do. What I kind of want to swing to see if we can get those things off the ground it is hard because uh if you don't know the zombie racial is currently bugged and we cannot fix it uh and it just kind of it sometimes it's on sometimes it's off so we're, we're gonna have to see and i also don't want to make it so broken that everyone's playing zombie and moga like that would be absolutely awful because then every game would be like an hour and a half to two hours but we'll, we'll see what happens we'll see what happens uh i'm i'm, I'm walking on eggshells here guys so but, uh, yeah, that's all I really wanted to say. Kind of check in on you guys. Tell you what's going on. How's it? How's everything going? I see Hell's Card's been uploading, like, 50 videos per day. Don't worry. I'm also still here, but I just don't have that time to record games and upload videos. I'm sorry. Uh, I know uh, another person in the Discord. Uh, his name's Nevernancer. Uh, he's going to be streaming here soon. Also, if you don't know, uh, Leviathan, a.k.a. Levi, has been streaming on Twitch. Twitch uh, dot slash whatever Leviathan. Uh, if you go in the Discord, you can find a link. If I'm good enough, I'll drop a link down below. He streams pretty often. Uh, he's taking a break right now. He's got the uh, he's, he's got the good old vid, the COVID. So he's just resting up. But he sounds like he's doing good. But uh, yeah, we got a couple streamers going. We got some guys uploading videos, you know. If you haven't played the game or if you've just been watching the videos, know that the community is still bustling. Like, not, not like, thriving. But, like, we still got a dedicated community here that has been growing slowly. 
since uh, we started doing these changes. And uh, if you feel like uh, you ever want to come back, now's a good time to come back. We still got all the old guys playing, you know, Carmivore, Markov. There's more. I'm just drawing a blank right now. There there's plenty of us still around. Uh, Moga Bait's still around playing some games. So's Pox Junkie, you know, Elves Rules. All those guys are still around. Tiny's taking a vacation, I think. We haven't seen him. I think he went back to the lay down for a while. He kind of got a little uh, burnout. But uh, he's still around. You know, he comes in here once in a while. But, uh, yeah. It'll just be kind of checking in on you guys. Give me a little update. What's ahead? There'll be a bigger video uh, come March when I have to talk about the balance changes and the patches and all that jazz at that point in time but i just want to get you an update that uh some of your champions that you might have thought were terrible have gone down in price and i actually be really good now so take a take a gander you know take a little peek see of what's going on look around see what's happening maybe maybe you'll find something new some good shouts that i've already seen are uh snaptooth dust shaman is now 75 nora Voghopper thunderfist is like 71 nora uh torton mortar Mortar, whatever you want to call him, is like 64. Moga Cannon got buffed. Uh, what else? There's another one that I thought was really good. Uh, Yeti Avalanche got buffed. Some didn't get buffed. Some we put a, a modifier on them so they didn't go down too low. Like uh, I think Longs Chandler, the the one guy who has like uh, logistics life siphon and escalation for like 70 Nora. He was going to be like 65. We said, nah, that's, we, we're good, homie. So we just kind of gave him a, a boost so he stays at the same cost. So he didn't get affected by the change. But most of them did. Most changes did affect things. Another big one is like Grubble, uh Rock Eater. Now has, he lost Vulnerability Magic and Unequipable. And he's like 70 Nora. So give him a look out, you know. Take a little peek, you know. But I'm going to wrap it up for you guys. Uh, very short video, I know. But uh, we can we can blame the poor play of the game. I was hopefully going to be like, look how cool Skizik are. Well, that didn't happen. So, but uh, yeah. Well, this has been Rorschach. I'm going to be uh, I'm gonna be heading off here now. I'll talk to you guys real soon. I hope all of you guys are having a wonderful day, taking good care of yourselves. And uh, if you need anything, hit me up on the Discord or throw a comment. I don't look at the comments as much as I'd like to, but uh, I got a lot of things going on my plate right now. So I'll try to get back to as many as I can. I had something else I wanted to say. I, I can't remember what it was. I, uh, I I just can't remember off the top of my head. It was, it's, it's going to be bothering me for a bit. I, I, I can't remember what it was. I think I wanted to like say something like 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 we're gonna we're, we're gonna buff heroes or something.